Hey, Michael Eric Brown here today to do an unboxing of my Bose in-ear headphones. Um, I actually already owned a pair of these, but they went bad on me. The lows fell out on it, and all of a sudden they became really hollow sounding. And uh, so I called them up, and they were cool about sending me a replacement. I had to send in the old pair first, so I've been actually without them now for a couple of weeks. Um, so I'm really excited to get them back. They do replace it with a brand new retail package, which is really cool. And I actually get another one year warranty with it because of that, so I'll take that. That's hooray. But anybody who's uh, been following my blog at michaelericbrown.com will know that I have this issue with headphones. They never last more than six months for me. I don't know why. I usually try to take as good a care of them as I can. I think it's just I use them too much. But to kind of show you an example of what I go through, through kind of the overuse, I have a Sennheiser bud here that I was using because the bows were out of commission. It was my old pair that I just kept just in case. But through, you know, about six months of use, you can see I started to have these kind of leads tear apart. And, uh, you know, that happened on kind of both ends of it. And then, you know, also on the jack itself, I can find it here. Kind of can see it's starting to tear up and all that. I think that's just from being in the pocket and probably having pressure put on it. But I just cannot keep a pair of headphones, I swear. And having to replace them every six months was getting kind of expensive, so my thought was, let me just go to a really, really premium pair of headphones. It, it just looked more solid, you know, like the leads going into it are hard on, on that. And then also where it splits on the wire. I'll show you as I open it, but um, it just looked like it would hold together better and, and largely did. It's actually, the pair I sent back was in perfect looking shape. It's just part of it kind of, you know, went out on it. So, but I think I'm ready here to unbox this. Let me pass it right out of here. You know, so I'll show you kind of what's going on here. A lot of different languages on the back, but basically, you know, it talks about quality, sound, life, like clarity and range and so on. Um, they are very good sounding to me. Uh, you know, I'm not an expert on audio, so I'm not going to claim that they're the bee's knees or anything like that. But uh, I like them, and they've held up well, except, like I said, they, the audio went weird on me. And I've never had it happen that way. Normally, I have an ear go out, like the right or left ear will just stop working. That always happened to me on the um, iPod headphones. But let me go ahead and take this guy apart here. Myself a little blade. I'm going to try to take good care of the package here because if I ever have to return it on another warranty exchange, they actually kind of like you to keep everything. So now you really can't see what I'm doing there, and I know it's getting kind of crazy. So I'll try to, you know, do this. There we go. Delicately, as you can see. There we go mention how much I hate packages like this where they they seem to see a little along the edges I must want to say that should just be illegal anyway now that I've got that done I should be able to open the back up here and get to everything everything's kind of falling out now but all right so start here they give you a different uh, ear size pieces this happens to be the small kind um, these kind of little gel ears are actually quite nice they look weird and then when you see kind of them out you're like how does that even fit in the ear um, once you have it you'll kind of understand but they are very comfortable I actually can wear them for hours on end without really noticing so we got large let's see we have uh, kind of a lanyard that'll hook onto it so you can go around the back of your head and all that and hold it if you're running or something like that it's really cool uh, to have that and they also have a little alligator clip which I know I use all the time all right see they have Headphones there. I'll get to that last booklet. I gotta, let's see. I also have a little carrying case, uh, which I did use quite a bit. Which again, I think part of why I kept them in good shape, at least the way they looked, for as long as I did. But yeah, the this carrying case is cool. It actually fits my iPod Touch and the headphones fairly well. Uh, cool to have. So we'll pop that out here soon. And then we have the uh, headphones themselves, not taped in there. All right, get that out. Uh, here we go. They're making it a little difficult for me here. Bunch of tape. There we go. Close that up. All right, so there they are. 
they already have tips on them. Those are actually the medium size and they fit me pretty well. So I always just left them on. They actually told me to keep the tips when I sent back the old pair. So I have those here. And these are actually still in really great shape. So I probably will just continue using them until they wear out. And then whip these back out. But um, let's get this all uncoiled. Alright, so first thing of note is this uh, lead going into um, the jack. This is all hard plastic. I dig that. Um, I think that tends to help it, you know, not have so much deflection. Alright, we have then the little uh, chip. I guess it's something like a, a DSP, uh, you know, digital signal pro processor that will kind of crunch on your audio there for you. Follow that up. Okay, the split here, also hard plastic. Again, so you're not going to have that go and then have it try to split down, which is cool. This is the little guy, and I'll just push it all the way down. All right, and then on to the head buds, or headphone buds themselves here. Uh, again, lead, hard leads into that. I dig it. Um, you know, definitely very cool. Uh, all right, so let me... Get this unpacked so you can see what I'm talking about with that. Pretty nice case. My last one, you know, got a nice little crease here from use, but you know, so it is kind of a, a cardboard uh, skeletal system in there, if you will, which you will bend through use, but um, you know, it will hold an iPod touch really well. And then you know you just end up coiling up the headphones and having it on there. You don't want to stick it into a tight pocket because you'll crush them. But uh, you know I used to keep it kind of in a loose shirt pocket, and that was a good, you know, measure of protection. And I don't think you really care about the booklet, but you know, just shows you how to use them. Let's see, there's actually a little diagram there. I don't know if you can get that. My focus will behave, but. You'll see the correct use is how it sits in. It's it points down like that. It's it's really weird looking. You know, if you're used to wearing other headphones, you're like what? You know, how does that go in your ear? You know, how to use a lanyard and so on. And then they repeat that in a bunch of different languages. So anyway, they are a nice pair of headphones, and you know, definitely happy to have them back. And. Uh, you know, sure, it was kind of frustrating that they went out to begin with, but they did replace them. You know, no questions asked. Actually, the customer service rep was pretty nice, and I'd recommend them if only because they have good customer service. Um, you know, but hopefully these will last me more than six months, and I'll actually get a couple of years of use. You know, but if not, I do have another warranty year on it, and if need be, I'll just replace them again. Anyway, uh, definitely check that out. It's good stuff. See you.